Hello, Matthew Williams here with a quick video to help you perhaps speed up your internet. If you live in a house where you have the router downstairs that connects to the broadband, and then you use your broadband maybe in a different room or upstairs or at the back of the house and you find it very hard to get a signal, um, then you probably pull your hair out at the fact that you have to sit in a certain position and you know mess around. Um, there are things that can help you. There are things called Wi-Fi repeaters. Now a Wi-Fi repeater can be a little device like this, not this specific one, but a little device like this. You plug it in to a wall socket and you place it halfway between where you're at and where you want to get the signal to. And provided this can pick up the signal reasonably well, it will then boost it on very strongly, probably with much more strength than your actual router, the main router, but it will pass it on. Now these do require a little bit of configuration, but the instructions are there for people who've got you know, a laptop or a PC or a Mac, or you know, say Mac, uh, but you plug it in, um, to that, follow the instructions, you plug it in with a wire and then you give this the password for your router and then once it's got the password you can disconnect it, unplug it, plug it in again and then it talks to the router with the Wi-Fi password you've given it and it will send it on and you connect to this then, not your router. So um, you look for the name of this repeater device and it might be called like Wi-Fi repeater and when you connect to this, it piggybacks you along. So it basically boosts the signal. And they work really well. Um, they can cost as little as £15 on eBay. And uh, there are some models which look like a, like a half shell over this. So it's like a half circle like that. And they're from China. If it's, if it's something like that, if it looks like it's got this sort of shape, curved shape across it, like that for the plug, like that, and it's just curved across. 15 quid, you pretty much can't go wrong with them, they're superb. Um, no need to spend a lot of money on these things, because you can you can spend up to £100 on, on something that does pretty much worse than the £15 one. And the reason I say that is because they're actually manufactured in China, where they don't give a shit about the transmission power rules, so they actually are quite powerful, when they're probably not meant to be that powerful, but China doesn't care, and that's good for you, because it means you get the signal nice and strong out uh, to where you need to get it. Now, this is a different type of device, actually. This, this has a different purpose. Um, say, for instance, you've got a, a PC at the far end of the house, and you, want to, and you can't get a Wi-Fi signal out there. Well, you've got two choices. You can use a wire, an Ethernet cable, but you have to run that through the house because most people aren't lucky enough to actually have these things plumbed into the house when the house was built. Some people do, and some people don't want to actually drill holes in the wall and run these wires through or tack them around the edges of doors, frames, and, and through rooms and, and uh, doors. and you know They don't want to do that. It's just a pain in the arse. Now, uh, there is a solution, and it's this. This is the device. This is why I said that's not actually a Wi-Fi repeater. This is known as mains networking. And this mains networking device will allow you to connect um, via the RJ45 port into your computer. And then you plug it into the mains, and you plug another one of these in by the router. And you plug that in via its little lead into the router. And then basically the magic of this box, it transmits your signal through the mains cable of your house. And the mains cable then pretends like as if it's actually a wire that you've you've run through the walls, but it piggybacks on the, on, on the mains. So this can go an amazing distance, much further than Wi-Fi would ever go. Um, some people say that you can even get these working up to a kilometer away, but there is a there is a proviso on this. Um, they won't really work a kilometre away. They'll probably work like a thousand feet, yeah, because that's how much distance you're going to have on your wiring in your house, unless, of course, you live in a mansion. Um, but most people don't. But the the thing you've got to bear in mind is that sometimes, if you do live in a massive house, which most people don't, if you live in a massive mansion or something like that, that you're probably not going to have the same power supply from one side of the mansion or big house to the other side. Um, this difference in power supply actually means you probably have a fuse box at that end of the house and a fuse box at that end of the house. And these fuse boxes being separated mean you're on a different phase supply. 
Now, without going into the technicalities, let's just say there's, there's red, green, and blue phase, okay? Now, say your house just happens to be on red, so you're on a red phase going to your house. Zoop, that's your electric. Your neighbor's probably on blue, and the neighbor along's on green. And it just alternates like that, like you're on red, he's on green, they're on blue. And what this means is, if you connect these devices, then you can go all the way around your house on your red circuit of red power, yeah, but there's no way if your neighbor plugged one of these devices in, even if it was the same device, that he could pick up the signal from your mains going back through the, net the network. And the reason for this is because he's on a different phase. So this can actually become a problem in massive houses, because if you use these, then you can't go from red to blue in the same house, because it won't work, because it, the, the phase has changed. Um, in that case, you could get a, um, a couple of these and do a bridge, but that's technical. Look that up, okay? But the, the main thing is that if you are in just a normal house that just has one phase, um, and if, even if that phase goes out to a garden shed, you know, it might go out to your, to your garage or a garden shed outside, it'll still be the same phase, which is fine. So you can get, like, from one end of the house all the way to the other end, and it just acts like a cable, so you get incredible speeds, near enough the same speeds as you would get if you actually had a physical cable. So it's perfect. Now, this is a special one because it actually does another little neat trick as well. You don't have to use the cable at the far end by your PC if you don't want to. Or you can use the cable and you can use Wi-Fi because this is a Wi-Fi repeater as well as the wire coming out of it. So you could connect your PC in your garden shed to the router in the house with no extra cabling and this little puppy will give you a wire then going into your PC for full access speed but will also be going ping 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 and giving you Wi-Fi so you can sit there with a tablet device or your phone or a laptop and get perfect quality signal like as if you were sitting this close to your router in the house okay it just acts like it just sends the wired signal through the mains, through this magical mains thing, comes out the other end, and this reboosts the Wi-Fi signal out to you. And these can be costing as little as, I've seen them down for about £15 each, so a pair for £30. So, um, but make sure you get the, if you want to get the Wi-Fi ones, they're usually a bit more expensive. So you, you, you tend to have to pay, um, uh, sort of, for, for the wired ones, £15 each, if you want a, a wired at one end for the router and a wireless at the other end, you probably spend about, instead of 15, you probably be like at 25 pounds to get, to get that thing. And the, the bonus of this, the, the best bit about this is you can actually plug in more than one of these. If you've got one of these at the router end, you can have several of these around the house and they all work seamlessly. You don't have to program them. You don't have to touch them. You don't have to mess around with them. You just plug one in every room you want and one by the router and then Bingo, they all transmit. You can even have one in each room transmitting Wi-Fi if you want. So you can have Wi-Fi perfectly in every single room of the house. And it can be used in large buildings like mansions. You can have Wi-Fi on the top floor of your mansion, Wi-Fi on the middle floor of your mansion, Wi-Fi on the ground floor, and Wi-Fi out in the garden shed, you know, because you just bought multiples of these. But here's the thing you've got to remember. If you're going to buy a set of these, always buy enough. Don't buy some of these and then expect to be able to buy them next month because they'll have discontinued the model and it won't communicate anymore. Okay, um, basically if you buy one of these you have to buy however many you want when you want to buy them. So work that out beforehand. Um, otherwise you may be able to get them if they go out of discontinued by getting the model number and buying them online and looking at the model number but you have to get matched pairs because these kind of things when they're manufactured they're manufactured to kind of talk to each other and this is also to stop other people who haven't got the same kit if they were on the same phase because this stuff does travel a long distance if say they were down the street and they were on your red phase four houses away yeah, then theoretically, if they had exactly the same device, then they could technically connect into your broadband and be using your broadband for free. But the likelihood of them, there are so many of these devices out there, the likelihood of them being able to do that, very, very unlikely. Um, and once you get a few houses, um, once you go a certain distance, 
uh, something happens with the mains, I think, that actually kind of nullifies the signal so it doesn't go to too many houses. That's not a potential. So it really isn't a worry, you know. But um, like I say, buy as many as you need. So if you want to have five rooms covered with non-wired but wire, wire quality mains networking, uh, get get a few of these, um, and then if one dies, you know, if you always get one spare, if one dies, you don't have to replace the whole set because you've got a spare. Okay, so spend a couple of quid more on the extra spare to start with. Keep it in the drawer. If it ever dies, just pull it out, plug it in, what, plug the wire in, bang, it all just starts working again. So that's my top tip for how to get your Wi-Fi working along a long distance, and it really does work quite well. Um, of course. I would say don't use Wi-Fi at all because it's irradiating your house 24-7 um, with microwave signals which um, are in the 2.4 gigahertz band and are not very healthy for you. Um, also, some people have said to me, why is my Wi-Fi so shit? Why does it go so shit? Well, because so many people are using Wi-Fi. If you live in a flat, a block of flats, imagine that there might be three people in the house above you, and there might be some people to the side of you, and they're all using these microwave frequencies, and it can kind of get jammed up. Microwave ovens, they're not supposed to leak frequencies, really, but, you know, they can, there's a microscopic amount that they may be sending out, which is on exactly the same frequencies as these my Wi-Fi devices use. God knows why they decided they wanted to use the 2.4 gigahertz band to put Wi-Fi on. It was a daft idea. And there's only, I believe, 11, 12 or 16 channels that you can use of Wi-Fi. So, I mean, that 16 channels has got to be shared, time shared, time sliced between all the people who are using it in an area. And um, it soon runs out. Now, that's if you're using what's known as the A, B, or G bands of Wi-Fi. Okay, they correspond to the 2.4 gigs. A, G, and B Wi-Fi devices are slower, and they work on 2.4 gigahertz. But the new N type of Wi-Fi, um, that works on 5.8 gigahertz, which is double the frequency of the uh, 2.4 gigahertz original spec. And because they knew that people were getting all these problems with Wi-Fi and clusters and things like that and freaking out, they put the 5.8 gigahertz allocation of channels much bigger. So there's about, I think there's about 200 channels you can use. And it is faster. It's a lot faster to use the N band. So if you're going to get one of these and you want to get your mobile phone, like a you know Samsung or something like that, which works on the N band, Samsung Galaxy S4, this will work on the N band, and some laptop devices and tablets will work on the N band. If you want to get that peak speed for uploads and downloads, if you're trying to watch videos and things like that, um, if you want that, then make sure that your repeater device is N. Okay, now check this out. It doesn't even matter if the router isn't N. So if your router is an old fashioned router that only has A, B, and G, which are the old frequencies, right? If you get one of these new puppies that will extend through the wireless mains networking, provided this one is N, this one will send out high, high speed signals at good power, even though the router is sending out old 2.4 at lower power. So just bear it in mind when you're buying one of these, get one with a, the N spec. And as I said, those ones that you can get on eBay, 15 quid, they are like that. So hope that helps you with your networking issues. And if you need any specific help, ask me in the comments and I'll do what I, what I can to advise you. Thanks for watching. <laughs>